Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to combine my February and March favorites together into one video. So let's just get started. Okay, so for February, obviously one of my favorites was the ColourPop collection, the uh, Valentine's Day collection. I made a whole video about these. They're amazing. My favorite one is Cupid's Bow, which is this lavender pink. Also for February, I discovered this e.l.f. eyeliner. These are amazing. I'm gonna have to find more of these because the pigmentation and the stain power, look at that, is beautiful. This truly rivals the Linda Hallberg eyeliners so good i i couldn't believe it i think i only paid like two bucks for this too really amazing this is the physician's formula butter 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 glow pressed powder amazing it's a beautiful translucent glowy powder i use it just for setting lightly on the face and um adding a little bit of glow it is gorgeous really it's a very nice product um it reminds me of the mac mineralized skin finish but that one was a favorite of mine also in february this eyeshadow palette i did a whole tutorial on it i i use it every day almost every day i believe the brown this brown's my favorite this beautiful silver the whole palette together is gorgeous clearly was a favorite yeah okay Moving on to March, this was an interesting month. So the L'Oreal, I don't know where it went, but I'll, I did a video on it. The L'Oreal True Match Foundation, one of my new favorites. I could not believe how good it was. And it's a gorgeous, if you can find your shade, go pick that up because I've been wearing that a lot this month. It's so easy to apply. I don't have to worry about oxidation. The texture and the finish by itself is beautiful. And it's a very lightweight, thin formula too. It's just amazing. This eyeliner I discovered this month as well in March, well, now it's April, but in March. This is not as good as the e.l.f. If you were to compare the two, I would definitely go tell you to go buy the e.l.f. But the one thing I love about this is how, I mean, A, how black it is, but this stuff's waterproof. It's not coming off. It's not coming off your waterline. I'll say this, the e.l.f. one works better with the waterline. This one works better with the, um, like just applying it on the lid and smudging it out, but it does not move at all. The Dior, this is the Dior, um, this is the Dior Crayon Eyeliner in black, and it's, this month I was really impressed with it. Uh, well, last month I was really impressed with it, that it was such a good product. Um, but if I were to pick one, pick one of the two, I'd probably pick the e.l.f. one. Another discovery that I had in March was this eyeshadow stick by e.l.f. It's this beautiful bronze shade. Look how gorgeous that is. And I love how the simplicity of it, put it, it's in a stick, swipe it on my eyes, blends out beautifully, doesn't leave the whole entire day. And with that, I use the Milani eyeshadow primer. I really have been loving this lately. Um, the one thing that pisses me off is I lost the cap. <laughs> and also that this is a, the applicator is a little bit finicky. So when you hit the squeeze tube, sometimes a lot of product comes out and um, it's a mess. But this eyeshadow primer is phenomenal for March. In this, okay, so there's two bronzers that I have. There's this bronzer and it's by L'Oreal. It's a beautiful powder, neutral undertone, has a little bit of sh sh shimmer in it, I guess you could say. I think the shimmer was honestly just um, just an overspray because now it's not there anymore. It's just a beautiful glowy powder, but it is gorgeous uh, on fair skin. So I love this for a powder option it, and it applies beautifully. Let's see. Oh my God, would you look at that? Look how gorgeous that is. 
yeah it's a phenomenal powder bronzer on the other side of bronzer cream bronzer i've discovered i found this in the bottom of my makeup drawer so i was like obviously i have to try it the chanel um Vitalu is it is it the Chanel Glow Bronzing Cream. This is so hyped up. Everyone loves this. And I am one of them. I thought I wasn't going to like it. I go, how did I buy this? When did I buy this? It is here. Well, I'm glad I bought it whenever I bought it. <laughs> because this is amazing. Oh my God. Beautiful. I've been wearing this every day. Look at that. It's just a gorgeous bronzer. Not too orange. It looks a little bit orange in the in the container, but it's not too orange on the skin. It blends out beautifully, super pigmented, but it can sheer out. It's, it's my favorite right now. It's just gorgeous. I have no idea what the people upstairs are doing, running around. Sorry if you can hear that. The blushes that I've been loving for March and it's a little bittersweet with these. This is the Too Faced Cloud, cloud brush, Blushes and they're new. And the colors are gorgeous. I was making a whole video about them, but I was like, no one cares. Just talk about them. Beautiful, super nice, lovely. But the problem is, is that some of the applicator, some, some of the packaging doesn't open. So I have to sit there and like try to pry it open. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But like, look at that. Look how gorgeous this blush is. It's so pretty. This is like um, a lavendery pink. It's a, the one in Candy Clouds. But let me show you the closure. The blush itself is beautiful. The packaging itself is gorgeous. This is why it's one of my favorites. My problem is this. It has the little closure thing. I go to open it and I'll press in and it will get stuck. So I'll try to pry it open, still can't open it. And I'll be sitting here finally and get it open but it it's not just this one it's the other ones too so this is a different shade tequila golden hour and I'll have a hard time opening it like it's physically stuck and um that's the one problem with it is these blushes I they just don't freaking open <laughs> Like, I can't open it. Let me try a different one. This one opens. <gasps> this one opened, and now it's broken. <laughs> okay, anyways, moving on. Um, so yeah, the, the packaging is most definitely a problem to open. Uh, it's really hard, but the the, th the product itself is beautiful. But eyeshadow for March is this. This is by CoverGirl. It's called True Naked. I know they have a whole line of this and mine is in the shade Desert Heat. Holy moly, this is amazing, super underrated. These shades are so pigmented. Okay. Uh, do I have anything on my hand? Look at that. Amazing. So I've been wearing this all like for the past two weeks and mainly using this shade, this shade as an inner corner highlight, this one and this one. So pigmented, beautiful. I mean, I love this product. It's amazing. Amazing. I, I have to look in their line to see if they have any more. I think that's it for my... February and March favorites. I do have one dud if you want to hear about it. So it's this Danessa Myricks um, gel eyeshadow thing. It's supposed to be like a gel, but it's, it's like really weird. It is a gel, but it's super thin. And you need a lot of it. It's called flakes, like they're chrome flakes. And yes, it does come off as flakes. And I think it's really supposed to be used as like a topper. But for me, I just have a hard time getting it even on my, do you see the patchiness? Even on my eye, so it always looks patchy. And I'll use an eyeshadow underneath, 
but I can never get the sparkles to sit evenly. So it's kind of frustrating and hasn't been the best experience for me this month with that product. But um, yeah, I think that's it for my February and March favorites. I feel like I'm missing something. And if I am, I'll link it down below. But until my next video, just stay well until then. Bye. <laughs>